Cheers, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to another episode of the Bourbon and Booze, where we discover the wide world of booze. Booze. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna put that little screw there. So we're back with another um, craft whiskey. This is probably not very available for all of you. Sorry. Uh, but this is the Texas 254. And I was very um, discouraged in finding any information about this. And this is actually um, produced by a company that's like 10 miles from our house uh, here in North Texas. It's from the Backwoods Craft Distillery. And they have a, our company, and they have a whole ton of different uh, liquors. Uh, this is one of their Texas craft whiskeys they have, but they have like vodkas and I think they have some gins and all sorts of other stuff. And uh, it says it's produced and bottled, so I'm going to assume they're distilling it. But I've been in that town for, I mean, I've lived here for 30 some years. I've and never even, I've never even seen it. Never heard about it. I asked the liquor store guy and he says uh, some guy just brings it in. And I can't find them an address for them but I did email them asking them for some information about this and uh, about this specifically because there's no that the web page wouldn't load for this specific bottle and it all the other bottles doesn't really give any type of mash bills or anything like that so what you find is on the bottle and very limited uh, but this is the Texas 254 uh, I believe it's called the 254 because Texas has 254 counties. So that's they what didn't it is. Email you back? No, they haven't emailed me back. It's a blended whiskey. A blended whiskey. Uh, I have tasted it. We've had this for almost a year, but we haven't really dived into it. And so usually when we buy a new bottle, we taste it. We open it right away. Got to stop doing that. Uh, so I haven't tasted it, but I'm thinking it's a corn based uh, whiskey. It comes in very inexpensive, about $12. That's Pretty inexpensive. Uh, it's 40% or 80 proof. 40% or 80 proof. I did give this as a gift to somebody. Uh, and they really enjoyed it. I think they finished it rather quickly. Of course, uh, I like to open a bottle and savor it and you know have it around. I got some of these bottles that have been around for quite a few years that still have stuff in it. Um, but a lot of people that once it's open, it's got to be drunk and gone. So I want to know how much of this did you delve into during the freeze, the great freeze of Texas? Not very much. Uh, contrary to popular opinion. I don't actually drink that much. I drink uh, usually when on the day we record because we record all videos on the same day because of your stupid schedule. asinine work schedule. Uh, otherwise, <clears throat> maybe once or twice outside of that do I have a dram of something. But Okay, let's go ahead and do this review. It costs $12, so that's a uh, Basically a four barrel. <clears throat> and my assumption I believe was correct. got a mm. I know that Cody wasn't really impressed with this I don't find it bad for 12 bucks so I mean I mean for the price I guess and it is a blended 
So I'm not sure what it's a blend of. It doesn't really say how much neutral grain, if any's in here. The water kind of opens up the aroma a little bit. But... It does say it's crafted one batch at a time, so I'm assuming that production from production could be varying. So maybe the next time you pick this up, it would have could a slightly dip. different taste. So uh, it is a two barrel on, I'm sorry, it's a four barrel on cost because it's only $12.90 or 12 bucks. Um, they're about on aroma. We each give it a three. You want to impart any of your aroma notes to it us? It had a little bit of the, you know, like the baked goods. It's definitely corn, I think. Yeah, sure. I think it's it's got that smell, aroma of sweetness of vanilla and corn, that uh, sugary corn. So I think the mash bill is predominantly corn, probably 51% or higher. Uh, a little bit of char on the nose. So it, it smells like a typical, almost Tennessee whiskey. And, and, and a little bit of a kind of a Kentucky bourbon whiskey. It's what makes me realize it's a lot of corn base, mm -hmm. but I don't know. But when I add water, I get a little varathane. Yeah, it definitely <clears throat> brings out that alcohol. That medicinal varathane yeah. aroma. All right, so for flavor, I'm giving it a three. You actually give it a two, which I can c completely understand. There's just something that it's like, and I don't know what it is. It's kind of, on the back, it's kind of got kind of an off okay. flavor. Okay. Yeah, I, I get vanilla and some dark cherry, but in on the back end, there's that bitterness, kind of a, almost a rancid bitterness. Yeah, it's almost like, I want to say like wet cardboard or something. Okay. Uh, I'm going to write that down. Uh, we don't deal, or don't find... A lot of blended whiskeys, American blended whiskeys. We're thinking more of scotches and stuff like that. So that might be some sort of um, point with this, and why it's different. It's not a, a small batch of. Uh, and you said they make gins and everything. Maybe they I think just... it's gins, but um, I definitely they make some brandies and a lot of different flavored uh, liqueurs. Um, I think they make some tequila possibly they literally for a company i have never heard of that's basically 10 miles from my house they literally have about 20 different spirits maybe since it's blended they just kind of took all the leftovers from <laughs> everything and just poured it in there i don't know i don't think so that sounds like something i would do. for buy i gave it a 2.5 you gave it a three it's not a bad buy it's peppery it burns from medicinal burn that that alcohol burn and it lingers a bit and it, I th the lingering is part of the flavor I think yeah the flavor so I give it a three so overall now the cost is going to be a great benefactor for it it's going to be 12.5 for me which is a three rating and it's going to be 12 for you so there's only a half difference which is a three rating so this is going to come down to a three barrel i tend to say it's not i would say a it's 2. a 2.5 yeah. the cost is giving it that extra boost um it is not a three barrel i mean you cannot compare this to some of the other three barrels we have knob creeks and buffalo trace and stuff like that so yeah it's a 2.5 it's not readily available um, that I know of outside of our immediate area. So if you happen to stumble on it, let us know what you think in the comments below. If you uh, are in Texas and North Texas and have seen this, uh, tell us what you think. Tell us what you think about the other uh, kind of products that, products they, that they do. Um, just let us know. Uh, check out all of our other videos. Mondays we do liqueurs. We had a really awesome tequila yesterday, so make sure you check that out. Uh, Wednesday is going to be a spectacular coffee tomorrow um, from Costa Rica, I believe. Yeah, and I like then the coffee from last week. Did you try? <laughs> last week's coffee. 
that was a whole week ago. I don't remember what it was. Uh, Thursday, we have another whiskey. And then, of course, Friday, Cody and I get together and we um, mad scientists this place up with some really cool uh, cocktails. cocktails that have a twist on it. And I'm finally getting him away from pouring rye whiskey in everything. Everything. But rye makes everything better. He tried to, yes, last week in a mojito. <laughs> So, tell us what you think. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Check out Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and merchandise. And remember, there's no bad whiskey. There's only good whiskey and great whiskey. It's, it's okay whiskey. It's it's not bad. For price-wise, it's good whiskey. Not great, but it's a not mixer. bad. Yeah. All right. Cheers. Laters. <laughs>